So I thought it would be interesting to go through the what's in the hood of this aquarium. So this is a custom hood that I built, well me and my dad built. And uh, inside we have the lights, uh, which is two uh, XR15s, blue, Gen 5, uh, and one reef breather, 24 inch, I think. And then a Kessel 160. Um, the reason it's all these different lights is that originally I had uh, two max spec jumps. Uh, they are now on my quarantine system. Um, and then when I got the clam, I needed to uh, be able to provide more par than what those were able to do. So I needed to get the Kessel as a sort of spotlight for the clam because I didn't want to um, get too much par for the for the other. Uh, nearby um, corals at that point um, and at that point I also had the reef breather on uh, on my quarantine system um, but I realized it was better to to move the reef breeders up to this uh, and put the max specs on the quarantine system because then I could have one of them to a relatively low power range and so that I could have uh, like some softies and LPS that don't want too much power uh, on that uh, on that side, and then uh, on the other side I could have more uh, light demanding corals like SPS in the quarantine. Um, and then I also got two uh, secondhand uh, XR15s and sort of just yes, combined everything for this uh, this aquarium. I think it works fine. Um, the, the, the advantage is that I get a really good coverage. By using all of these lights compared to if I'd only use for like some, for example, the, the XR15s, so so there's a, not so much shadowing. Um, and then we have a fifth light, and the, it's just a normal uh, LED, smart LED bulb. Uh, and the reason it's there is that I think the XR15s, the Gen 5 blues, they don't have any, they don't have any warm whites, which really um, I think is a problem because they the warm white really helps bring out like pinks and um, some other colors uh, so I, I feel felt the aquarium really needed it after I switched over from the Maxback jumps which do have a warm white which I, I really appreciate so that's the reason why we have this fifth uh, light just to give it a little bit more of a warm white pop uh, another thing I've done in order to try and improve the or reduce the shadowing is to cover the insides of the hood with reflective tape. So this is like reflective tape I just bought at the hardware store and then glued to the inside. It helps a bit. Uh, I mean, it's not it doesn't do miracles, but uh, any, any little bit hurt helps, right? So, um, and then we have this uh, wooden beam at the back, uh, and the reason for this uh, reason I have this is that. Since you have a, when you have a hood, you can't mount anything on top of the of the frame or at the edge of the aquarium. But uh, with this beam, I am able to put stuff like the smart feeder and um, and the Kessel arm um, on that beam. If I did it again, I would probably put it a little bit lower uh, and maybe closer to the to the back wall too. Because right now it is shadowing some corals a little bit. Uh, and then we have um, an, in an intake fan, a large intake fan, and then two smaller exhaust fans at the top, which help reduce heat buildup and also humidity. Um, during the summers, when it's warm, I also mount a fan um, that I also put on this wooden beam, so that. That the apex can can trigger if the temperature is too warm, but now that's not a, not an issue in winter or or autumn. 